So the new exotic assault rifle, right, that's coming in year 5 season 1, which is called the Saint Elmo's engine, it's been the hot topic of the moment, right? There's no two ways about it. The weapon itself on the base stats is a very good weapon, right? And then also what makes it even better is the special talent that it comes with, which will allow you to get shock ammo. Now with that said, though, what I did is I throw this exotic on my striker build that I use a lot for solo legendaries and I tried this weapon with the striker and see if it works. Yes, it works beautiful. I throw this weapon on a striker build and what other way better than to test this out on a legendary, solo legendary run on a capital building. Now I do have that video already on the channel if you guys want to go and check that out. I will leave a link down in the description. But yeah, this weapon works very good on the legendary and honestly it works on every scenario, right? But on legendary with my striker build that I had before, it just makes things even better. So with that said though, you guys ask and I bring to you guys my build with the striker gear set and adding the new exotic assault rifle, the St. Elmo's engine. Okay, let's start with the start of the show, right? The whole reason of this video, the hot topic of the moment. The new exotic assault rifle, St. Elmo's engine. This is an exotic assault rifle that has the visual of the LVOC and it has all of the stats, the base stats of a police M4 that's currently in the game. So it comes with a base damage of 44.2k per bullet and the RPM, the base the RPM is 850 if you recalibrate that attribute that I do have another video on the channel also explaining how you can do that. Now in this current build obviously it has a higher RPM because the striker that we have in the build gives it a 15% rate of fire that's gonna put it at 978 RPM. The magazine though this is one of the biggest magazine that I've seen on the SAR rifle in the game so far though and has 70 rounds on the magazine. Now as a disclaimer my weapon has a 22 percent weapon damage that comes from the expertise so just keep that in mind that's why i will be hitting quite hard though now before we go to the talent i do want to point out the handling of this weapon i've been saying this on many of these videos this weapon i think the strongest part about this weapon it is a very good weapon it's a laser beam the accuracy is very high you can see right here it's very stable too this weapon can be a laser beam from far and on top of that it reloads fast now on this build currently because we have some weapon handling that's coming from the striker gear set it goes down even further to 1.6 seven seconds reload time so last but not least is the talent this is what makes this weapon so special so shooting enemy with this weapon will gain one stack add 100 stacks the next magazine will be filled with shock ammo simple as that so just like the striker gear said this weapon will work like that too right so you shoot the enemies you will be getting stacks once you have that maximum stacks of 100 the next time you reload it will give you shock ammo now moving for the mods this is another strong strong part of this weapon it has some crazy mods though so starting with the optic 20% crit damage you gain from this weapon on the muzzle you gain a 20% crit chance and then on the under barrel you gain 20% weapon handling now last but not least obviously on the magazine we have a plus 30 rounds that's gonna put at 70 rounds on the magazine with that said though that means the base magazine on this weapon it is a 40 bullets on the magazine okay moving on for the build now this is the build that we're gonna be using as i said this is a striker build so for the new players in the game what you need to know about striker battle gear is that once you equip two pieces it will give you 15 percent weapon handling and to help you out if you don't know weapon handling means reload speed accuracy and stability all of those three are included inside of weapon handling now continuing with the striker right by equipping a third piece you gain 15 percent rate of fire and that's why you saw that rate of fire a lot higher and then the fourth piece makes the striker gamble 
Weapon hits increase total weapon damage by 0.65%, stacking up to 100 times. Which means once you have 100 stacks, right, you gain a total of 65% weapon damage from the striker. Now, you will be losing stacks per second if you don't shoot your enemies. So we're gonna have the mask with core attribute weapon damage, attribute crit chance, and a mod of crit chance. On the holster, we have weapon damage and crit damage. For the knee pads, I have weapon damage and crit damage. And last but not least, on the gloves, I have core attribute armor and crit damage. So moving for the next gear, we have the chest piece. This is a chest piece that comes from the Grupo Sombra. And this brand said once you equip one of them, you gain 15% crit hit damage. On the chest piece, we have core attribute weapon damage, attribute crit chance, crit damage with a mod of crit chance. And then the talent that we have on this chest piece is obliterated. Critical hits increase total weapon damage by 1% for 5 seconds, stacking up to 25 times, which means 25% weapon damage that you can stack up for those 5 seconds because we have a weapon that shoots fast, a weapon that has a lot of crit chance, a total of 60% right, will have this obliterated activated a lot of times. Now last gear to top this off and make this build perfectly, it's my favorite exotic in the game which is the Memento Backpack. It comes with all three core attributes which is weapon damage, armor and skill tier. It has no attribute but it has a mod slot which I have crit chance in there. The talent is what's so special about it, kill confirmed. So basically once you kill your enemies, they will be dropping these orange trophies on the floor. By picking them up, you gain a 5% weapon damage, a 10% bonus armor and a 5% skill efficiency, which we will scale with the number of core attributes that you currently have on the build. Now this talent has two parts, right? So the first one that I just said, that's the short duration. The second part is right here on the bottom. This is the long duration. So basically by picking up these trophies, you can get up to a maximum of 30 stacks. Once you have those 30 stacks on your build, you gain a 30% weapon damage, 30% skill efficiency, and a 3% armor regenerations for a 300 seconds, which means five minutes. Now, if you talk about the skills, it will depend of what I'm doing. So right now I have the striker drone and also the holographic decoy. This one is the one that I use the most because that's when I'm using for heroic content. So control points and missions and stuff like that. Now, if I am going for a legendary mission, usually I go in here and I'll choose the crusader ballistic shield. And for the second skill, I'll use the assault turret so those are the skills that i use on legendary the salt turret and the crusader ballistic shield because i have a way of playing with them now for the specialization i am currently using the gunner specialization and that's for quite few reasons so the first one is because on the gunner you will gain a 10 percent armor on kill which is quite helpful on this build it's gonna allow me to get those survivability which you know i have that armor coming back on kills and also i have the five percent rate of fire increase for five seconds after i get a kill now taking a look at the stats on this exotic weapon i have 104,000 weapon damage 60% crit chance and keep in mind i'm not over that 60% crit chance i'm actually if i take my mods right now you can see i am actually right there on that 60% so i'm not wasting anything and then i have 128 critical hit damage 75% headshot damage and that 10% damage to target out of cover that doesn't show in here on the weapon stats so for the amount of armor that we have on this build which is 1,152,000 armor we gain 115,000 armor on kill that doesn't sound like a lot, but it helps me get my armor back. And keep in mind right now, it says I have 0% armor regen, but that's because right now I currently don't have Memento stacks on my build. Once I get those 30 stacks of Memento, I'll have about 30,000 armor regen on the build. And that's it, that's the build that I have with the Shriker and the Elmer's engine. So this is what I'm gonna be using as soon as this update drops in June, which is year five season one. As soon as I get my hand on this weapon, I am gonna make this exact same build because this is gonna be my new personal best solo legendary build. So if you enjoyed this video, a like on this video would be super appreciated. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more Division 2 content. Let me know what you guys think of this exotic assault rifle. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care, everybody.